60 second plus ads with full character consistency is now possible with this workflow in Sora 2. Check out this example. Okay, so real talk. For years, I dealt with bloating, digestive issues, just feeling off, you know? And I tried every probiotic at the store and nothing worked. Recently, I found Just Thrive, and it's literally the only probiotic that actually survives your stomach acid to get to your gut where it needs to go. I've been taking it for three months now, and my digestion is so much better. I have more energy, and I just feel lighter. If you've tried probiotics before and they didn't work, trust me, try Just Thrive. This one actually works. I'll put the link in my bio. Amazing, so that was a 40 second plus ad, could have been longer if we wanted, with the same character, the exact same scene, holding a product that we prompted. Let's watch another one. Okay, can we talk about the 3 p.m. slump? Because it is so real. I used to reach for another coffee or whatever sugary drink I could find just to get through the afternoon. Then I found Olipop. It's a prebiotic soda with only two to five grams of sugar and nine grams of fiber. And it actually supports your digestive health. Now 3 p.m. is my favorite part of the day. 12 flavors, all delicious. This is my new afternoon ritual. Amazing, again, one ad over 30 seconds long, could be more than 60 seconds if we wanted to add more scenes. And we can see the character stays consistent across the scenes. This is a game changer for marketers. So let's walk through exactly how we're doing this. All right, here we go. Let's demo how to actually generate those 30 second to 60 second ads with consistent characters and consistent scenes with Sora 2. So big update just shipped with Sora 2 that allows you to create a fictitious character and it'll give them actually their own kind of Sora 2 account. So I created this UGC mom character and then you can actually at mention that character to have them speak, hold, do different things and it'll maintain consistency and maintain the scene so that and you can string together a number of these videos to get, again, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, two minute long, however you want, as long as you stitch these together. Now, the big thing to note is this is definitely going to come to the API. So you'll be able to generate this programmatically soon and we're gonna do a breakdown on this YouTube channel when that capability is live. So subscribe so you can see exactly how we do that with N8N and with just programmatic software building. Um, but right now I'm gonna show you how we did these couple ads. Okay, so for the purpose of this example, we're gonna pretend we're this Just Thrive probiotic company and we wanna create UGC style ads but longer than 15 seconds, right? The, our ads that perform best on Facebook, let's say are 30 to 60 seconds long. So here's how I made this ad. I started with a scene setting prompt that describes the avatar that I want to generate as well as the scene and the first line that I want her saying about my product. So you can see here, a 45 year old mom with shoulder length blonde hair and a casual shirt and jeans stands in a bright modern kitchen with white cabinets, et cetera, et cetera. She says the following line. And then I have Sora generate that video. And you can see in my drafts Stop. that it starts and it, to generate. And it's literally video. the <clears throat> And I'm gonna wait for that video to generate. Okay, so that finished generated here and we can check it out. For real talk, for years I dealt with bloating, digestive issues, just feeling off, you know, and I tried every probiotic at the store and nothing worked. That's awesome. That's even better than the one that we generated. But what we can do now is we can go to this three dot menu and then we can create a character out of this person that we just generated. And then we just need to select a section. And now this becomes a character that we can always reference um, in future videos. So we'll call her Kitchen Girl. All right, and then we can describe the character. This is actually important. It, it, I've found that if it's describing the scene, like it says like, she's holding a coffee mug or there's something on the table, you wanna delete that because you want to be able to manipulate the character in a way that you need for your ads. We'll say that looks good. And then we'll make everyone able to call this character. So now the character's saved. So we can even see Sora gives this girl, this fake person, their own page. So any videos that get, get generated with Kitchen Girl 12 will get posted to this page. So now for the ad that you saw me create at the start of this video, I created this character, which I called UGC.mom. And these are all the videos that I generated to create the 30 plus second ad that I created. So then I had my character, I have her in the kitchen, and now I need to generate 
the product that I'm gonna have her hold. So I simply just snagged this Just Thrive probiotic bottle with the capsules off Google Images, and I put it in the frame that Sora needs, which is a 1280 by 720 pixel frame. And then for each prompt, I uploaded this frame with the prompt. For example, for with this shot, which is the last one, I have, you know, at UGC.mom, holding the probiotic bottle from the image and says, if you've tried probiotics before and they didn't work, trust me, just try Just Thrive. This one actually works. I'll put the link in my bio. Me. Try Just Thrive. This one actually works. I'll put the link in my bio. So if you want the prompts that I used for each scene of these ads, as well as the other ad that we displayed, you can snag it for free in our AI automation mastery community. You'll just go to the tutorials, um, select the one that you want, and we'll have the attachments and the prompts um, available for you to download completely for free. So to come up with the actual script that I used for the ad, I, I just prompted Claude. I said, you're an expert D2C marketer for the probiotic company Just Thrive. Come up with a 50 second script for a mom in her kitchen to speak UGC, UGC style to an iPhone camera talking about the probiotic supplement. And that is how I actually got the script that I built the four scenes around. So I started with this opening scene. We'll talk. For years, I dealt with bloating, digestive issues, just feeling off, you know? And I tried every probiotic at the store and nothing worked. And then what I did is I downloaded each of these videos. So just downloaded it to my computer. And then I stitched them all together in CapCut to get the full 30 second plus ad for this woman. Okay, so real talk. For years, I dealt with bloating, digestive issues, just feeling off, you know? And I tried every probiotic at the store and nothing worked. Recently, I found Just Thrive, and it's literally the only probiotic that actually survives your stomach acid to get to your gut where it needs to go. I've been taking it for three months now, and my digestion is so much better. I have more energy. So pretty awesome. And you can follow the same process for any product, any ad, any character, now that you can create your own AI characters with Sora. And the most exciting part is OpenAI is for sure going to ship the same functionality into their API so that you can programmatically call the characters that you've already created in Sora. So in the future, we'll do videos showing you how to build full workflows that automate everything that I just showed you. No more stitching together in CapCut, all done programmatically in, in tools like N8N or end-to-end -end software tools like the ones we're building here at The Recap. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you get notified when we launch these upcoming videos, and leave a comment below if this walkthrough tutorial was helpful as we try to deliver the most useful features as they come out to you guys and to everyone who's watching the channel. So we'll see you in the next video, and that's all for now.